Hey guys, it's Trisha Tear, and welcome to my Let's Play of Misao. Yes, I know the screen is itty bitty teeny weeny and not completely full, but I don't know why for some reason the download just decided not to. Also, uh, if you are following my Sims 3 Let's Play, I'm going to end up having to start over from scratch because for some reason my data was deleted. Any sluts, let's continue on to um, the, the Misaos. Um, I saw Markiplier do this because Markiplier is bae. YouTube bae. But, um, yeah. So, from what I've seen, it's pretty fucked up. So, why not share it with the rest of you? Enter this girl's name with the keyboard. Uh, I need to think of a name. One second. Russell. Okay, so I decided no, I was just going to no. use my name. Use Russell. The voice you hear in the background is new roommate. And I'm not going to use my dad because it is a girl. Exactly. Did you just assume her gender? Yes. That's Don't so get me started. <laughs> I've had customers say that to me at work. Shut up. No. Is Trisha all right? Yes. Help. Find me. <sighs> Do I have to? Yes. Shut up! Uh, Misao? Is that you? Misao? Misao! Oh, my voices are gonna be unnecessarily amusing. W was I dreaming? I would hope so. I thought I heard Misao. I guess it was just a dream. Okay, first off, that's professional having the freaking mouse there. I am not this cute! I am a potato! It's been three months. Oh no, it's so late. I'm going to be late for school because I totally care about that in real life. Misao never really stood out too much in our class. She was just a simple girl, really. I wasn't too close to her, but I was always worrying about Misa being alone. But I hoped I could be her friend, but that didn't happen. Well, that's deeply sleepy. Three months ago, Misa went missing. She wasn't coming to school, and she hadn't come home either. She's not the type to flee home. Our parents are saying that she might have gotten involved in something. Well, I'm off, I say to an empty house. Our class spread the rumor that Misa was long dead by now. You know, I had a girl when I went to middle school. I think she was in high school. And she just kind of disappeared. And they just now found out what would have happened to her. That was seven years ago. And they just found out what possibly happened. I was friends with that girl. R.I.P. I miss you. I really hope they're wrong. I wanted to be her friend. Same? Find me. Oh my god, I'm tired. And it's only 10 10 at night. Soda. So here? And then you have. Wow, you were the shittiest teacher ever. Soda, the attractive teacher of Trisha's class, popular with the students for his generosity. And the possibility of rape face. What do you mean possibility? Mr. Soda is cool as ever. Okay, so you have the fangirl, I'm gonna rape my teacher girl. Those are the kids you gotta look out for. Just saying. That voice I heard in my dream. Was that Misao? Oh, typical me getting in trouble with teachers. You've got guts to ignore my lecture. You know what, girl? Same. Yeek! This information will be essential for the test, so you better listen. No. Y yes, sir. I'm sorry. I'm not. <laughs> Can it be real when you're a rebel?
Mr. Soda has a new suit, like, whoa, super suave. Who uses suave anymore? <laughs> Ayaka, I think that's how you pronounce it? Trisha's best friend, a fat following girl who looks up to Mr. Soda. You know what? You're the type of person I would not actually be friends with. Ayaka, you've been talking him up all morning. Don't you get tired of blabbing? You know what? This girl is me on a personal level. I shit you not. That is legitimately something I would say. I am an asshole. But he's such a ladies' man. He's so nice and smart and the best. It's always the ladies' man you have to watch out for. Oh my god! Hi, Murmur! Sorry, my cat. She's just so cute. Oh yeah, gotta use some hand cream. Do, 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 do. Oh, okay. I hand cream. Did you hear? I did. There's a rumor Mr. Soda has a hand fetish. That is never not creepy. Yes, Mer, we know. Your face must smell like everything. Wow, everything must smell like your face. We know. She's kind of just rubbing her face all over my friend's laptop. But. So maybe if I clean my hands constantly, every day, all the time, he'll like me more. N no. I really don't care, Ayaka. You know what? Me as fuck. Don't really care, she says. Ha! You've got no eye for man, Trisha. You know what? You right. Girl, you right. Seriously, what do you see in a seducer like Toma? I never said I liked anybody. I just think he's kind of cool. That's all. Really? Me? <laughs> what kind of laugh is that? That's almost as bad as the 90s <laughs> laugh. No, no, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Mur, I do not need you to be licking my hand. Shut up. Yes, really. Can you shut up. We all know I'm the main, I'm the main star of this. Drink bleach. There's been some spooky paranormal business going on at the school. I'm getting a little freaked. Why do you look like a drag queen? Like, you look fabulous as fuck, but honey, you look like a drag queen. Explanation point. Toma, paranormal my ass. Toma, Trisha's classmate, a boy carefree, an appearance, personality, everything. And you look like you got a serious case of bed head, honey. Yoshino, I'm for real. It's for real. The other day, a kid in the other class got dragged away in the bathroom. Girl. Yoshino, Trisha's classmate, leader of the bullies. You know, you are the type of person that I would beat the shit out of in high school. Kudo. There was also the class, or the glass in the third floor hallway being broken from inside. You look dead inside. Trisha's classmate, a calm, early, maturing youth. Gotta be ghosts. Eek! I'm so scared! <laughs> Gazoon tight. <laughs> Stop sneezing. No, thank you. Trisha's classmate, just a Tome for short. Toma's girlfriend. Oh, honey, you look like a doll. Why are you with bedhead? Ghost, huh? Dumbass. They, those don't... don't those ain't exist that physically hurt me. Physically hurt. Go away, Xbox. Wait, what if this is Misao's curse? All of the explanation points. Look, this is no time for jokes. But I mean, it's totally possible. It's been three months since she vanished, then this some stuff suddenly starts. I can grammar, I promise. If those events are Misao's curse, then Yoshino will be cursed sooner or later. You know what? You're probably right. Hmm? <laughs> what did I ever do? Yoshino's getting more than a curse coming from her. Yoshino, you did bully Misao a lot. Bullying? Why? I never. It was just making a little fun. Why I feel like you lying? And Toma always screwed with Misao. You're the one who will get cursed. Me? Ha! 
I'm fine. Misa looked up to me. You know what? You a cocky little bastard, and I don't like you. That's okay. Shut it. up. I wonder. Toma, I'm scared. I mean, I am your girlfriend. Misa might have a grudge. You know what? With your preppy scrunchie wearing big eyed heaven, pink wearing bitch ass. <laughs> Don't sweat it, Tome. I'll protect you. Yo, bedhead having necklace wearing, fuck boy looking bitch ass. Oh, you're so nice, Toma. Pa, do what you like, lovebirds. Me, Sal. Please don't curse us. The rest are fair games, though. You know what? I'd punch you in the face. Maybe your front butt. Oops, did I say that out loud? <laughs> you know what? I'ma sip some tea. <sighs> Invisible tea. Oh, okay. Here we go. See, this is why you don't fuck with spirits and you don't call them out for them. This is what happened. An earthquake. Oh, there go the lights. Y'all niggas fucked. Y'all screwed. What? It got dark right quick. What the heck's going on? Maybe, just maybe, it really is me house curse. This is why you don't fuck with the hoodoo voodoo shit. Sirs. Me house real mad at us. Sh shut up. What the hell? I was just kidding about that curse crap. Uh, Trisha? Help. Okay, that. That creepy, creepy sounds. Creepy writing. Misao? Misao! I can't hear her speaking to me. You know what, girl? Me too. Oh no, now it's gotta be her. Sh shut it! I didn't hear her damn voice. Well, you know what? Listen. Trisha, you talking crazy talk. That ain't the first time I've heard that one. I'm not. I Find me. Uh, I don't wanna. Me. Me. Sa. Oh. You know what? Wag! Nick, Nick, how? Ah, you finally come to. Explanation point. Explanation point. Where am I? I was just in the classroom. And who are you? I'm Oni Gurara, and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. The student council president, and this is the student council room. Nigga, you look too old to be a student council president. Welcome to Japan. You know what? Don't judge an Asian by its age. Lucky for you, you've ended up somewhere safe. Ended up? After the earthquake, the school was sucked into another world. This sent those inside flying all across the school. You know what? That sounds like a personal problem. Another world? What's that supposed to mean? And why would that happen? Well, it's a curse. Well, it's the result of a girl's curse that this school was sealed in another world. A curse? It couldn't be Misao? President Onigarara! <laughs> pant, pant, I finally made it. I thought it was like Honor. You know what? You oddly remind me of Marin from Black Butler. So you finally returned Ms. Library. You know what? That's derogatory as fuck. She's the school's vice president. Always in the library. So that's what we call her. You know what? That is racist. That was racist against book people. So then Ms. Library, how does it look? It's messed up and gunked up and fucked up. You know what? Might as well says. Might as well say fucked. The foundation of everything is wrecked and I haven't been able to find any exits. Plus evil spirits are going and attacking people. I saw a student killed before my very eyes. Go away, Xbox! 
I'll never be able to eat hamburgers again. Oh, it was frightening. How does that equate to hamburgers? Okay. I think she's talking about the ground beef. Oh my god. So I see. Thank you for your report. You may retire now. Yes, well, I'm going back to the library. Call me anytime if you need me. With what phone? Evil spirits, the curse must have summoned them. The school is now a den of spirits and there's nowhere to run. But, uh, um, there's only one solution. Under, or undoing the girl's curse, there is surely no other way. How am I supposed to undo a curse? By saving the girl's soul, Miss Trisha, you know, you must know what it is you have to do. First of all, why do I have to do it? I do? Why do, why me? Find me. No, I don't want to. Misa is calling me, so she wants to be found. Mr. Onigurara, I'll go look for Misa. Why? This is where me and this bitch is different. Because my white black ass would be like LOL deuces. So you will, as the library informs me, the school is full of evil spirits, and yet you wish to go? No. I will, because Misao is my friend. Understood. You are entrusted with the fate of the school. I believe you can do it. If you encounter any trouble, pay a visit to library on the second floor. She will try her best to help. If you wish to make a record, please talk to me. I will do so for you anytime. Will you save? Yes. Alright, and I think I'm going to end it here for right now because my dad keeps calling me and interrupting but oh wow so i will see you guys next time bye